All right, guys, welcome back to the GG Circuit. We are live here from Evo Gaming in Queens, New York. And we're going to our winner's finals match. Uh, we've been following Jen Yell for most of the days, uh, one of the players here at Evo Gaming for Spain. He's going to be in the winner's finals taking on Bowser. So Jen Yell's going to have a Shaman Priest and Warlock, while Bowser's going to be running Warlock, Rogue, and Priest. What do you think about those lineups? Um, Shaman Priest, Warlock, um, versus... Warlock, Rogue, and Priest. Um, Rogue seems pretty good against Janelle's lineup. I mean, like, Reno Priest and Reno Lock. Yeah, depending on what variant of Rogue, it could definitely be very effective. Uh, probably Questing would even be better than I think, the Shadow uh, uh, Stealth Rogue. Yeah, I think, I think Questing is probably the, the best build against Priest, for yeah. sure. And, and especially uh, Reno Lock, too. That I mean, too. Giant Conceal on board. And We haven't seen Bowser like, yet, so he could, he could be running Zoo for all we know, though. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen Bowser play. Uh, we know that I think he beat Shadow Wolf 3 0. Okay, we did see Shadow Wolf. So, yeah, so he got, he got the buy in the first round. He was able to kind of go on top there against Shadow Wolf. Well, another and player so played. The winner of this match is in the grand finals, correct? Yeah, so the winner of this match will move on to the grand finals. They will face the winner of the loser's bracket. Once gotcha. that person kind of moves on up through. I know that Shadow Wolf's fighting hard there. Demigod and Hinata are also playing right now. So, both of those players in the round two of. The losers oh yeah, so it appears Shadow Wolf has taken down Keish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little updates for you guys. Shadow Wolf did take out Keish. Now round three of the losers bracket. So one away from the losers finals. You know, we could hopefully get an all New York Grand Finals. We're almost there. Uh, if Janelle can kind of clean up here against Bowser, Bowser's you know play one match, got three zero. So you know, doing pretty well so far. Yeah, two pretty strong showings from Janelle too. Got a three zero and a three one, and also one one of them against a really strong player. And we got probably. I think we saw a little bit of nerves uh, from some of the players there with Danielle. Uh, I would I would say that some of the slight um, misplays or suboptimal lines may have pro probably just, I would say, attributed to nerves. And guys, we're going to jump right into this match right now. We're going to have Danielle taking on Bowser. So we're going to start with the match. Danielle's going to open up here with the Shaman. And Bowser's going to be on the Priest. It looks to be maybe a Dragon Priest, maybe a Reno Priest, because uh, there's an Entomb in the hand of Bowser. Yeah, I like I, I like uh, Janiel's decision to start off with Shaman. I mean, mid Shaman's still a pretty good deck against most of the decks in the kind game, of so it seems logical. Anything. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely can. Yeah. And of course, he's running the Devolve deck. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be pretty good against Dragon Priest as well. Yeah, and I mean, if he isn't able to find a win here with it, it could theoretically be really good against Rogue. Like you mentioned, that's really where originally the Devolve deck came from to target some of those stealth minions for Rogue. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that that could come in handy there. I think Bowser, with his strong opening, though, he's going to be able to you know, get the former Saint Jin out now. Janiel a little bit slower in his opening, uh, just to start here. Yeah, Janiel also running, we know, the Spreading Madness deck in his Reno, which he stated was actually really good against stealth minions. So maybe he's that's actually right. trying to attack against yeah. uh, he, he doesn't want Rogue. To be up on his lineup, so he's it's, got the devolves and the spreading madness that, that could come in play here. It's so interesting because, like, as a tech, it's not necessarily reliable because it's can still hit the <laughs> characters as well. You know, if it only hit minions, yeah, then maybe be like really solid. Tech. Volcano, yeah, will we'll definitely handle that. Yeah, I do think volcano is gonna be an awesome card uh, in, in that sense. But here, Bowser's gonna throw the board. I like this. Uh, gonna start being aggressive just from the outset and not deal with the totem there. Yeah, ops and not. Not clear off that totem there. I'm not sure. I mean, once again, well, I feel like the way the hand's developing for Bowser, he's just gonna hit face. I think he actually wants him to have that healing totem up to maybe get once again a little bit of that sneaky right. cleric. Because I'm thinking, why why not just clear that? Well, I guess he could just maybe hit his one three and do it next turn and let mm -hmm. it heal itself up, and I guess he'd get a a draw off that. Maybe he'll just... Well, I can't imagine that he'd allow the Mana Tide Totem to live here, but... Oh, no, no way. Yeah. You might, yeah. You might hit the Healing Totem by itself sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely... Seems like what he would be going for. Also, we see Dragon can Sorcerer. That's definitely a throwback. Oh, yeah. Uh, it came up the Nerves by Historian. So, oh, right, you know, that's right. how I got great. But, you know, even with Power Shield, it gets pretty big pretty fast. Yeah, it used to actually be played in some of the earliest, earliest mm -hmm. Dragon Priest variant decks back in the day. Uh, I kind of like just taking out the man side here, probably going face with the one three. Uh, you might go for the sneaky stuff where you just hit the. You know, yeah, I would definitely send the one into the, the totem. That's, yeah, okay. that's pretty much the line that it seems like he. The, there's no other justification really for leaving the totem up, in my opinion. So mm -hmm. I think yeah. Alright, we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. He's like, I don't want you to draw any cards. 
Ooh, does get some quality minions. Um, Bowser does. He does. You know, if that if that two three lives, that could be a bit of an issue for Genial. It, it does. does. So yeah, pretty decent board for Bowser after the devolve. Genial had to devolve and put a lightning storm into that turn. And Bowser just gonna be able to play the operative here and ooh, could even get a devolve of his own. Devolve or an Esther Drake. Um I mean yeah, it's it's probably correct to develop the operative here. I have to say, I was very, very tempted. Um I may I may have been leaning towards maybe throw the Raza out there. You sacrifice a little bit of stat, obviously you don't get the card draw, but you can get that free heal off on your two three. Yeah. Which seems fine to me. I mean I may have taken that line. Yeah, and we've seen Raza in the hand that Definitely leans toward that is probably a Reno Priest as well. Okay, so yeah. Ross is Reno Dragon. Make, yeah, maybe, yeah. Reno Dragon, uh, you know, there's some lists out there. I think Hot Form had a list that he did pretty well with for a while. Uh, so very similar to uh, some of the lists Danielle's running too, like Shadow Form. Danielle's not running a Dragon. No, he's Reno. not. He's but just he's, running Reno Priest. Yeah, but this, dragon. this list could be running Shadow Form, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. Hybrid Dragon. Reno, yeah, all, combo, all types Shadow of craziness form. Priest stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough turn right here, though, for Danielle. It really is. He really committed both of those board wipes in the previous turn. Yeah, that barrel spear, which is very nice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, Bookworm could come down here, do very well off this, but Raza yeah. also a possibility. Yeah, um... Kind of like Bookworm, like, hitting and just keeping all your minions alive. So you open them, there's a body. He's going to go ahead and actually Put trade in the minions. Oh, shit. Yeah. Tim, I can um, get those, too. Ops from yeah, I, I like this line. It, it ends up playing around the Jade Lightning. May have been a consideration for, yeah. for Bowser there. Um, Raza also not a bad position there. You could you could Raza heal up the the two three, then send both of those in, and then definitely kind of take that. Well, he, he had a few options. I think this one's perfectly fine. And this feels um, feels like you don't need to really necessarily deal with the three six here. I think you can kind of draw some cards and maybe just keep sending them in space. Yeah, that, really that seems logical. Frenzy Yasara, that's pretty strong. He's going to play Raza right now, just get that body. It's usually, I mean, when you have a free hero power, it's pretty nice. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like he's going for, for the defensive line. Yeah, so what do you think about that? Um, he was rather slow to me. Um, I mean, you're playing, I guess, more of a control-oriented priest here. At the same time, like, we know what happens when Jade... Golems can see in the game, right? They can build up and they can really do some damage. Yeah, I think um, in that particular case, I don't mind it too much. You know, I think it's it's one of those toss-up situations where it's hard to. I, I will say it's hard to determine whether or not it is better to just push space or clear up the minion. You know, it's, it's still a three-six. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it, but I wouldn't mind him going crazy there. I guess. Bowser does get Brand to hand, has some nice little fight there if you want to Brand to Azure Drake. You could do that this turn. Also has the free hero power. Uh, probably just need to clean out the Blood Mage, just don't, something you don't want to leave on the board, right? Yeah, I think we'll definitely see that Brand Azure Drake with free hero power. That value adds up to Raza. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's, it's interesting because Raza's better the earlier you can get on the board, right? Because it's giving you value throughout the rest of the game. So if you don't spend all the time here, the next time you come back, you spend, you keep your time. Mm -hmm. uh, Appears like he's going to leave this one more alive. I think that definitely seems seems reasonable. Yeah, uh, it's like you know, get the five damage in, right? I think you're at a point where you can start to put some lethal turns together over the course of a few turns. So Dragonfire Potion as well, right? It looks like we're going to see the Hex from Janiel, which will pretty much allow Bowser to toss that Ysera out, I would imagine. Feeling a lot more confident. Probably immediately put it off. I'd probably toss that Ysera out here. We just saw the Hex. I think Ysera's a great card. Yeah, it looks like he's going to take it too. I mean, worst comes to worst, you're still getting that one dream card. You know, there's no way. Obviously, one of the best things about Ysera, you know, the fact that you do get some instant value, whether or not it's weird. Okay, and there's no immediate answer from Genyel. You know, the hex was just used. Get to find another one that does not here. Probably go with Bran Aya here. Or Bran something, right? Yeah. I think this, 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 this is even better. Jade yes. Assault. The Jade Spirit and Jade Claws just make four Jades in one turn. That could have been what Genyel needed right there. 
it was very strong. However, I mean, we do see the excavated evil, the dragon fire potion, and the Kazakis in the hand of Bowser, which I think, unfortunately, for Janelle may just be too much value to overcome. Yeah, that is going to be a lot. Um, dragon fire potion here is just good. It clears. It's maybe a little more. It clears everything. It's, it's kind of insane. <laughs> So, with no, spell no, damage and a board of strictly dragons. Yeah, I think that just that's just gonna be it, probably. I, I, I would have liked. I, 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 I like Kazakis. 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 You're right. It yeah, is yeah better. you go for damage, right? Just yeah. in case. Yeah. You yeah. No, damage. you're absolutely right. I think. Uh, I, I just was kind of little dragon happy there. I wanted him to send the green dragon down. It would look cool to have a green dragon out there. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. You sure looks too blue. She should be more green. She's the green dragon blade. Okay, uh, best of all in the world, there's no three mana minions that can make a Doomsayer. Roll! <laughs> Hazard Drake became a 7-7. <laughs> seven, seven. Hazard Drake became a 7-7. Seven, seven. He got a, a, a Leopard Gnome thing that can actually deal some damage. Oh, you're right, yeah. Janelle opting to take the meme face tanks, the girl route. So, Bowser's gonna take the lead over Janelle. He's gonna be up 1-0 to zero here. Oh, wow. We're gonna see the Gazaki special. Okay, so, alright. A little well played there from Bowser. He even gets the, the one heal. That was so nice. Uh, the one heal. Yeah, he does. He does get that from Alazil. So Bowser goes up one zero, winning with the priest against Genyo's shaman. And that's the first time we've seen Genyo uh, be down all day today. So very true. We'll see how, wonder, how he responds. He, he plays pretty well with that, like you know. That luck that's in like the you know the hype and he gets really excited and like once things go his way I think he gets on a roll. Now let's see how he responds here to the you know nothing really went well that way. Not at all. That was definitely a very decisive game for Bowser. However, um, I mean with the Dragon Priest the first Shaman matchup like we were saying earlier, you know if the Priest can get out earlier on board like that, which he was able to do, it's really tough for the Shaman to actually really that come. Dragon back Fire out. Potion. Was oh, that that was probably the strongest Dragon Fire Fire Potion I've seen. Maybe full ever, board, right? to be Seven minions, they killed all of them. And it was a six damage <laughs> one too, like yeah. as you drink out and really like normally you find Dragon Fire Bush killing off like one or two of your own weenie, man. Was, there was no Nothing. collateral damage. It was just a pure flame strike, a set better than flame strike, a six yeah. damage flame strike in that sense for six. Six damage flame strike it's for six. Pretty six pretty good solid. solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Um, okay, so we're going to go into game two here. Now, I want to see this rogue, and we're going to see this match. So Janelle's still going to stick on Shaman. I think he needs to make sure he gets to that Devolve. You know, that's going to be one of the key cards. And Bowser with a pretty interesting opening hand. Does have Coin and also Edwin Van Cleef and a back stab, so it could make a pretty big Edwin. Yeah, hand. I feel like uh, Bowser, I, I didn't get a chance to see what it was really quickly that he mulliganed away. I feel like in the corner of my eye, he mulliganed something away that I would have held. Questing adventure, I think. Questing, that was what it was. Yeah, um, no, I guess that's correct to throw it away there, yeah. Really potentially explosive hand for Bowser. Oh yeah, I think you just go ahead and make it here, maybe? Can you make it 6-6? Six, looks six? like he's going to do it. Yeah. And uh, I would tend to agree. It forces your opponent to have the hex. And no, and no hex right now in the hand of Genio. Genio could do something interesting. Could like, you might have to play like, feral spirits and just kind of delay it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's, he's thinking that. Yeah, he's I don't take any damage. A six six is something that is you can deal with it. If, you know, it's not a turn one ten ten. Yeah. Uh, we do see a counter coin, so that would have been. Could have been even crazier last turn. And the thing is here, like with Edwin, if Edwin doesn't like win the game a lot of times, a lot of times you find out like all the resources have been used from the rogue. Luckily yeah. for Bowser though, he didn't really have to throw away much there. It's just a back seven a coin. Right. So I do like this route from Genial though. It's like, okay, you have to get through my taunts, right? And if you do, you can beat me. But next turn I can kill off Edwin with either J Lighting or Maelstrom Portal. Yeah, Bowser. Could have been an interesting line. Probably had some play in a fan to set up for being able to clear this um barrels with the fan. Finds a prep. Prep. Prep could be. You could you could uh sap the stone goal. As he well. could be. He could be. Oh. Oh, I think if you're going cold ball, you you're definitely sapping, right? I, I would imagine so. Yeah, he's uh, he actually. Oh wow, he, he's gonna conceal oh, this. Up. Oh, that's right. The counterfeit coins. Now this, now this devolve is um extremely. 
Okay, yes, so sorry. we can play the thing from below. I mean, that's what you're going to do if you're Danielle. Yeah. I mean, I think you just have to. And you unfortunately, have to. unfortunately, it's not going to be working out for you. It, it may be able to defend him for long enough. To well, where there's, he a, there's a sap in hand, right? Well, there's a sap, but then he will be able to clear off that moon with the Jade Lightning on the following turn. So he's not completely done for yet. The guys just sent off a pretty strong pickup for Bowser, though, with the prep in hand. With prep in hand. Also, you know, we see Lee right yeah. too. It's just like a ton of bursts that's almost ready to come out here. I mean, a single a single gold line could potentially end it for Janelle next turn yeah. if he was able to So this is, just a, this is the turn where Janelle needs to be super smart about his plays, right? I mean, I do feel like, I mean, this Jade Lightning's probably, probably gotta happen. Mm -hmm. You could also go Portal. You could go Blood Age Double Portal. You give up your Tone Golem, I think. I think you make a, you might be pretty worried. Think from below, Portal. Maybe you go that route. That's not bad at all, yeah. I mean, realistically, you may want to just say, okay, he has Pavley Roy, like that's two instead of an open Pavley Roy. <laughs> Honestly, I, I might even say that the optimal line here could arguably be Blood Mage Double Maelstrom. I mean, it's. It develops the most on the board. for him. Yeah. The downside is obviously he can't then use that on potentially a concealed up option here. But he's already seen one concealed. So it may be overcompensating too. So not. I think he went with your line. Very, very safe line. I yeah, it's, it's super super conservative for sure. Um runs a second prep. That could if he runs into like a fan of or something here. Any spell, or any spell. Evis would it, be, it would feel bad to just Prep, find no spell, and have to prep again. Yeah, that would be pretty Which awful. Which may, may happen. I think you'd go for it, though, right? I would, I would go, go for it, yeah. personally, yes. You're really looking for Evis or Sap mm -hmm. or something along those lines. Maybe you're even running... Um, I mean, a second conceal. Yeah, I mean, second yeah. conceal would be you know, yeah. <laughs> crazy. Uh, Danielle, though, you know, he's, I think he's running Genius, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. So, you know, he has Devolves as well. So there's a window for him to come back in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and if Bowser completely breaks and can't find a spell off of either of these preps, I mean, then, then for sure, if this prep goes directly into a spell, I would say it's going to be tough. No spell there. Break on that. He's probably forced to use that other prep as a form of yeah. power draw now. He's completely wasting the first prep effect. This is really bad. He's going to need to find point. a spell here. does find the Eva, so he can't clear out this 5-5 five five if he wants it. It's a very solid draw there. Oh, yeah. That was... Pretty much exactly what he was looking for right there. Can you also have the, light, the Jade Lightning to clear off this if he chooses to um, deal with it that way? So, we also have uh, the initiate, initiate here. So, it's a very interesting card as well. It gives a plus one plus one to a random friendly minion. I don't think there's any way he can kind of take advantage of that, but it doesn't really seem like at the moment. Hmm. What do you think better? Um, do you think like totem is more important here, or probably playing Thanos? I was leaning towards totem, totem for the defensive aspect, aspect. But, but then again, we do know that he has Larry Jenkins in hand, so yeah. great bias us a little bit. Whoa! So he has to play the Jade Lightning. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you have, you got to play that. Okay, yeah, he was, he was leaning towards Blood Lightning for a second. I was like, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that's not it. Only if the totem had charged, then he could do that. <laughs> then it would get his healing totem. Also, Bowser's playing the Barnes list. Okay, so this yeah. Barnes has come kind of back into this list a little bit, just because it provides you so like much swingness if you really need it. Like if you pull an auctioneer or something like that, yeah, you can just win the game. Questing like, as well. Yeah, really early questing's really good. There's a lot of good targets. Try to put it back in mind. Down those. Yeah, so this is actually uh, Muzzy was running this list last week in FPX East with uh, Deadly Poison. It's another tech that's been coming back in the rogue. Yeah, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the Deadly Poison, but I do like the brand. I think Amnesia was running the Deadly Poison too. Yeah, as well. and Amnesia was also running. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. Not saying I know better than just not personally a huge fan of the Deadly Poison. I mean, I get it. It's, I, I guess it's a one bad as well. It's kind of good, but I mean. <laughs> There's some weapon hate going around for the anti pirate deck to be ooze or some people are in the course there. So. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a deal. So, oh, so we want to see if they sit here. He probably crowd the one one. Yeah, that, that feels best. Yeah, killing the issue just seems like you're kind of helping him out a little bit. So, here might, you might go like, uh, you know, so the thing is, Genial, uh, you know, he's dead to, <laughs> to this if he doesn't get something awesome, right? Well, he could just, he's a Jade Chieftain, is that, um, 
Well, because what he's going to do here, he's probably going to Astrid a portal, and then he's going to die, so Leroy... Yeah, he's going to die. He could have just, um... He just played the Jade Chief to there. Was he just alive still, or was he... No, it's, I think so, the minions yeah. still would have been able to right, go. Right, right. So, yeah. So, Badger's going to get this win. He's going to go up 2-0 to zero against Jin Yeo. Uh, quick play at the Rogue. Jin Yeo unable, you know, Leroy getting the win there at the end, but really it was Edwin Van Cleef with that early start. You know, kind of investing into that, that really got Bowser that one day. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty hard to do with a 6 6 on turn 2. I mean, I think Jin Yeo played it. I think he did what he could have. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I may. Um, I, I don't think he. Right, he did what he could have. I may have done that. Um, Thanos double Maelstrom Portal turn on that one turn. Yeah, it's also good to get the Thanos set there because then he can draw me another card, maybe find a Genu. Maybe one of those Maelstrom Portal guys a taunt. I mean, but I'm, I'm not sure if it was optimal or clear. It, it was, it, yeah, it would have been a little more proactive, I think. Yeah. In a sense, and I think uh, at that sense, he played a little more defensively. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like all his plays were reasonable. Yeah, very um, reasonable. But, you know, just kind of like, where does the match go in terms of that? And we knew that, of course, the Leroy was in that match. Yeah. So, Daniel's going to have to reverse sweep it against Reno Live. I mean, yeah, that's... Probably not, not the worst deck, deck ever to have to reverse sweep, but at the same time, it's not going to be easy, of course. <laughs> you know, if you've you got three aggro decks that are extremely aggressive, then you might be like, okay, I can realistically actually get in there and, and reverse sweep this, but as we know, he's going back with the Shaman again, got a really slow start. Really slow start, and Bowser with some key cards in hand. Already has Bran, Kazakus, and Reno in hand. Yeah, I mean, um, Bowser there, um, I don't mind developing the pet later if I was him, just to start oh, yeah. taking out those totems, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess he might want to get the brass energy with it, I think that might be a little bit, um, he's played here too, kind of hoping to know Patches the Pirate can make uh, an appearance. Yeah, that might not be, um, might not be that bad, right? It's having another charge when you They're all alright. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the blood in here. So J Claws might start, you know, get things started a little bit for Janelle here. Kind of rewards the blood line, line though. Yeah, really yeah, definitely. Might just have to hit it, you know, deal two damage to it so it will die next turn or something. I mean, well, the blood imp will pump it again. But yeah, it would still. Yeah. I mean, it really so seems like it sucks to hit both J claws <laughs> yeah. charges into a peddler. Now, how long do you think Bowser waits to play Kazakis here? You could kind of just like hold out. You already have Brand in hand, you know. I'd probably just play it here. I mean, his only other options are maybe. Well, he's got other. Yeah, the the Brand, like you said, trying to synergize it with that. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, alternatively here, if he's not developing the Kazakus, I guess he would just probably start by Mortal Claw, like on like, the Syrian totem, see what he can draw. Yeah. I'd probably just develop the Kazakus, to be honest. I don't think you necessarily need two potions in this one to win. Probably just one good potion. One, re right one really strong potion, yeah. And just curve-wise, you know, being able to go with the potion on five, I feel like it's really strong. Yeah, it's like uh, Bowser can go ahead and play Kazakus, can go for five mana potion. Probably take the demon here. Yep. I would say so. And maybe damage. Four damage to everything yeah. is usually the best thing. Bell Bloom's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can go ahead and also coin out the mortal coil to I like take that out the stream too. I like that a lot. Yes. Yeah. It protects uh, both his mains there, in terms of health. So. And he's most likely going to use his Kazakis potion next turn, or, well, maybe not, but either way. It's just a little bit more proactive. Why wait until next turn to, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, just as so Janelle though has a pretty uh good J Lightning. Okay? Uh, J Lightning's a three four, you could trade your one one and your face into Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. She's kinda able to swing it back this way a little bit. Yeah. You know that because I guess potion's just gonna sit there and you know, Janelle's gonna have to be forced to build up a giant board and then one turn it's just gonna kinda evaporate, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, Thorson off the top for Bowser, which will be obviously there in his hand still. Next turn on turn six when he can cast it. And he's got the PO in hand as well, so he does have a combo piece. Nothing's like amazing here. Yeah, it's not. It looks like he's almost tempted to go to Zacchaeus Potion. That'd be kind of weird. On yeah, maybe, maybe just right. ran with the hero power. Yeah. You can oh. do Sayer? And just like try to gain a turn, and then you get to play Emperor on an empty board. I kind of like that. This. That seems optimal, yeah. yeah. That's better than Bran. And it came to help. So. Oh, it, it looks like Devol. Janelle's tempted. I kind of like Devol. It turns out that one it gets it, it'll be a wisp. It's uh, actually increased in stats. One of the very yeah. few times. That one of the few cards, that right? you guaranteed to increase in stats. Speaking of which, I think they should make Blood Emperor like one again. I'll just take this time to say that right now. It used to be apparently a 1 1. I think that was before it I was really strong. It was yeah, really but there's strong. a lot better cards now than yeah. there used to be, you know? Just like Nat Pago used to be really good. I oh, think they God. should put that yeah. them as well. I was, uh, no, I was talking to some. You know, there's a lot of cards that were like were crazy good at one point. Yeah. You know? So novice engineer one two. Yeah, that so. that can stay. I don't like uh, Janelle's decision right there to not hit the wisp there. Mm -hmm. It just seems like uh, well, you got the healing totem. Yeah, so healing totem so does, doesn't affect just two it. damage for and take the wisp out. Protects your searing. Cognizant of things like shadow player when you're yeah. playing against you know. Mm -hmm. And even just you know if you even if you can't have anything else. You you protect at least one damage getting it, presumably from the Searing Totem. So it's really just an extremely minor trade off to make, I would say. Yeah. Ember still feels pretty good, but it does get traded directly into. I mean, you just have an amazing hand. Though, yeah, right? it's an amazing hand. I would yeah. definitely run that out there. You've got at least one of the combo pieces. You've got multiple forms of AoE. You've got Reno. You've got Dirty Rat plus AoE. Dirty Rat. Brand Dirty right. Rat AoE. Yeah. Island hand. If you could, yeah, so you have Brand Dirty Rat, that's three, and... Got the full combo. Oh, no, not the full so combo. So you can Brand Dirty Rat twist another, right? Yeah. On yeah. Yep. So that's, that's, that's pretty dang good. Yeah, it, it yeah. really a nice hand to get to get a Brand Reduction there. Uh, uh, Thorson Reduction. How do you feel about just, like, Abyssal here? Um, it seems really good, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually... No, no. Brand Abyssal is kind of always hilarious. Oh, no, no. Well, Craig, oh, we can't do that. stuff later on. He, oh, yeah. it's the Dirty Rat that's in front now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really, really good Abyssal. Oh, yeah, I think you just, like, cheapen Lightning Bolt here, take out the 6-6, six, six, start really building your board. It looks like Janelle's going face. face. He's going to turn on turn on a little bit. But I like that Zaka's version, I think, is probably the time it's going to come down. Um, it seems like it, yeah. Maybe, Maybe you can, like, dirty rat first. Yeah. 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 Maybe uh, yeah. dirty rat Kazakus is probably the ideal play. It's, it's kind of a one oh, where you know with the day how big they are, and at the same time you know like what it brings out. Mm -hmm. He's even got the demon fire to um, demon wrath to yeah. You gotta clean up. Yeah, clean up everything. Yeah, it, won't, it won't kill you know your demon either. Mm -hmm. So clean your enforcer. I think he's going down that path. Yeah, even the uh, demon that summons off of the potion. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Not that it matters. He's doing it in this order, but yeah, I like this because Zach's potion feels really good here. You have to make a demon. You also deal four damage to all the rest of the mains. Get to clean up the board here, and just like that, you know, as Reno can feel good. There's no board. You have Reno in hand. You can kind of use it. Whenever I mean, he does tap last there. You know, yeah. Not not exactly. You know, the best thing didn't matter at all in this particular case. Looks like he found the Jaraxxus. It's really tough for Danielle. Um, I'm just like you got a lightning bolt that six two down, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, you can click thing about it, and I think it'll auto organize. There we go. Ooh, we can get here. Oh my god. Hmm. What are you thinking here? I mean, he's still facing down a, a pretty good board. Yeah. Genial, um, and he's actually only at 15. We do, of course, see the bolt in hand. So that's uh, one off. Lethal actually assuming he did nothing here. Um, I'm not. You know, it's rat and like nether, but it feels a little weird, right? 
Um, yeah, it does. You might just want to wait for the nether value. Um, honestly, I would probably... Yeah, I'd probably do what he's doing right now. The Drake into the Shambler, I think. Drake into Shambler. Maybe maybe PO your 5-5 five five and then send that. Uh, he could PO his 5-5. Five five cool. Yeah, and, and then Shambler, then then Shambler before hitting. And then. Oh, so we're just going to read right now. That's perfectly fine, actually. Yeah. I don't I don't mind that. It's a really strong board. I mean, he made a 4-10 and a 4-6. And you're not dying next year. Yeah, right? he can't die now. Obviously, the one downside of this line, he doesn't clear anything. He doesn't attack or actually... Mm -hmm. Do anything at that sense. I guess I'll go through it. So, there's some I have. I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna check. There's some reverb on the uh, the switch stream. So I don't know if that has to do with the mic or not. So if you're Jen Yell here, what do, what do you, like, you win face for you. I think Hex is probably the first play, right? Seems that way. Maybe you want to roll, because you roll spell power, then you have some interesting lines, too. Then you can, like, Maelstrom and Lightning Bolt, stuff like that, right? Yeah, I think probably hero powering first here would be logical, because he's got... Five, six, seven, eight, with all of his spells, if he wanted to just keep his not hero spirit, mm -hmm. that is. So you can go ahead and go with the feral spirit route. And that kind of signifies that, yeah, the 6 6 is probably going to hit face in here, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's going to go ahead oh. and trade, though. Okay, interesting. I feel like you're just leaving your board so weak. Yeah, it seems like uh, for Janelle, this was just uh, his one last hurrah in terms of uh, putting his, his board out there. And um, Oh, yeah, this is uh, probably, is this we're going to see Brand Dirty Rat just, and then Twisty Nether? Yeah, I mean, yeah. we do know that that's a little bit overkill, but... Uh, this is this it'll could... give you information about your opponent's hand as well, you know, so... It's kind of like, oh, it's, it's like safe in a way. It's kind of funny, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, okay, if you have two minis in hand, I just want to get exactly, rid of both of them. Yeah. I like this though. I like the Slop and Bowser. It's a very heads up play. Knows they can play Twisty Nether. Only gets one mini ah. off it. Knows what's in hand. Hmm. <laughs> well, it, it's one of those situations where, okay, he didn't get both minions. Well, that means there's a spell left in his hand. We know what yeah. spells Shaman has, and none of them are really anything. That well, especially can in this deck, anything. it's quite limited, right? It's like yeah. Jade Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Storm, Mail Or right? like a Pharaohs, but we've seen one. Yeah. And he, I mean, he finds a second Jade Lightning, which would have been what he's worried about, that Lightning Bolt being, mm -hmm. obviously, Jade Lightning much stronger than the Jade Lightning. Able to put a 7-7 seven, seven out, I mean, it's actually, I mean, Bowser doesn't have a direct answer for it. It's I true. mean, obviously, he can, he should be fine, I think. He's, he's got the Sylvanas, he could run that out there. Yeah, and, and you're not really close to in range yet, either. So not at all. kind of like what you're, you know, have a real advantage there. I think he's from Sylvanas, so you can play the game boss if you want to, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> nothing in, in Janelle's hand could really be that scary in terms of a spell. I mean, even Bloodlust had such a small board. Really do anything. Yeah. No, this uh, this one did not go Janelle's way. It looks like his luck is going to end here. Um, you know, just a few more turns. We'll probably see him go down 3 0 here. Bowser, great play. Honestly. Yeah, really, really yeah, solid. Can't very really solid. Knock anything he did. I'd say very solid overall. We have seen in the past, though, you know, some of these jades, you know, didn't run into another jade. Maybe you had, like, another uh, jade there at the end. You can kind of, like, build up things at the... Well, I can't deal with anymore. Yeah, so, I noticed that. I think it was Eloise on her Twitter saying the other day that her shaman was kind of getting reoed and kind of getting, just going winless, and she wasn't able to find a win with her shaman. So, yeah, I mean, shaman... Definitely not in the position it was when it was aggro shot. Yeah, and you, you could very easily win these type of matchups. Whereas you can still win it with Jade versus Reno Lock, but I, I'd say it's a lot harder. And he's even he's gonna go for the bolt here. So he um, has to kill this, uh, otherwise he dies to Leroy on Pio. I think it's took mm -hmm. the one one right there. Yeah, to the steering totem. Yeah. A little bit annoying for. So this four fourteen. 
So, oh, well, that's it. <laughs> that's going to do it. That's <laughs> yeah, Faceless is going to do it. You have enough mana because uh, the reduction to the power overwhelming. So, Leroy, Hypeo with the Faceless will be enough damage right here. Yeah, very timely top deck there for Faceless oh, yeah. to lock it out. He was in a great position regardless, but if anything, expedited the process there for, you know, a little hard fought match. I think both. You really see any misplays from either. I think just the way that it lined up, as well as the fact that um, yeah, Janiel just kept going with his shaman wasn't able to find him. It's interesting though. I think the rogue really lined up very well in that matchup, and it you know just did a great job overall. So guys, uh, Bowser is going to move on to the winner grand finals. That was a winner finals matchup between Janiel and Bowser. So we'll see who can actually fight back through the bracket here, out of the loser's bracket, and make it to the finals against Bowser. Well, he will be sitting tight for the grand finals of the GG circuit. Uh, we'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. See you soon. <laughs>